Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another anti Mansions reality update video, episode 19, and yeah, we're picking off right at the end of last episode, we can unlock time dilation, so that's what I'm going to do. So, the rough part about time dilation, well first of all, it's very slow, with dilated time, and it kind of puts the focus away from eternity points into tachyon particles and dilated time, but the other problem is the first dilation run. It's one of, it's... It's a pretty rough run, you're, you're gonna see here. So, dilate time, that's a cool new animation. I need E308 infinity points, and, well actually, this isn't too bad. I, okay, well, previously, before the whole glyph thing, because I'm pretty sure the glyphs are really helping with this, it would be a big struggle to get to E308 infinity points. It's still actually kind of a struggle to reach E308 infinity points, but it used to be like an hour plus long run to get to E308. I can just, just crunch fast. There we go. Eternity for 1.58 E3 tachyon particles. So this means that you can see I'm gaining dilated time. So there are some things that are make it better post reality. Stuff like gain a multiplier to tachyon particle and dilated time gain based on antimatter galaxies. And I'm pretty sure there's something else gain two times dilated time in time theorems while dilated. So this is gonna so this means I can try to dilate time specifically to get dilated time. So there's that. I can I can gain the first two of these upgrades pretty easily. And it actually it actually tells me how long it'll take to each upgrade. That's that's interesting. So yeah. <laughs> that that's actually a nice little quality of life thing. I don't need to just guess on um, everything. Look at this, 115 days. So, the thing is that early time, the other thing with early time dilation, like here, is that it barely gives any kind of a boost to anything. I can get four tachyonic galaxies, or tachyon galaxies. I'm going to call them tachyonic because that's how New Game Plus 3R calls them. Um, but. Yeah, that's the that's literally the only boost dilated time is doing to my antimatter production. So of course that's gonna be pretty useless early on. Even like maybe I could dilate time here and um, pro I'll probably reach E three oh eight quicker. Um I can also do it to, you know, gain more dilated time. But you can see how few tachyon particles I'm getting. Literally like thirty two tachyon particles when I have 1600 of them so that's that is two percent so there's two things i can go for right here there is the well the e6 upgrade and then there's also if i wait like 20 seconds i can get the reset dilated time in tachyon galaxies but lower their threshold so this this is not going to matter much early on but later on when I'm getting a lot more tachyon galaxies, it's gonna really, it's gonna change things. So, here we go. E6 dilated time, I reset my tachyon galaxies in dilated time. Um, but the threshold is lower, which means I can ultimately get more of them. I wanna see if there's any changes to the time dilation since before. Because I didn't really look at this before, I just jumped straight into reality. So. This is gain twice as many tachyon galaxies, but only up to 500. New game plus 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 does not have that restriction to it, so that that's interesting. Um, time to this feels new actually. Time dimensions are affected by Replicanti multiplier, reduced effect above e9000. Maybe it's not new. I'm actually gonna check. Nope, it's literally just the same thing, except it's worded very differently. It was like Replicanti multiplier affects time dimension speed or something like that um so there's that then there's the antimatter dimension multiplier based on dilated time unaffected by time dilation so this is mostly only really good in dilation and then there's the you can buy all three time study paths from the dimension split so that is really nice and then the reduce the dilation penalties this, this is all the same and of course, there is the infinity upgrade, the infinity point upgrade, which is the best one. And 
last but not least, the generate time theorem based on tachyon particles, which is exactly the same. So, really, it looks like time dilation is almost exactly the same. So, I'm just going to stay in dilation for this boost to dilated time. You can see now I'm getting twice as many tachyon galaxies. I'm up to 12. So, that's pretty good, but I'm realizing maybe I want to go idle for time dilation because this is hurting me. This is going to help me later on. So maybe what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into time dilation, um, disable dilation so I can get more tachyon particles, and then respec my study tree and do a very similar study tree, except that it's optimized for dilation. So it'll start here. It's going to go idle. And then go here, here, here. Um, pick a second path in the first split. So you can get just affinity dimensions. And then for the light and dark studies, I'm still pretty sure something like 228 is better. And I think in dilation, at least at this point, 226 is still better. But I'm going to want to go 223 and 222. And then here, and then I'm not sure if I want to choose between two, 233 and 234. Because I, because it'd be nice to get, you know, if I'm going in, in such an idle run, I might want to get 233 instead of 234. So I'm, I'm going to try 233. I'm not sure if this is best for dilation. I'm going to, I'm going to save this as 5. And then go back into dilation. If I can find it. So here is dilation. I'm going to start at a less lesser amount of infinity points, but I think in the long run it's going to really help. I forgot to mention what time dilation even does. It basically just nerfs your dimension, your, your, your all your dimension multipliers by like zero, like it raises their exponent to the 0 0.75 power. So that's like a double logarithmic change. That's why dilation is such a powerful nerf to everything. But at this point, all I'm doing is just waiting for dilated time. So there's, and it's not really interesting, there's double dilated time gained, triple the amount of tachyon particles gained, which means I can disable dilation, I'll get more tachyon particles, which produce dilated time. And then I can get more of these upgrades. I'm, I'm not going to get the unrepeatable ones, those are a little more interesting off camera, but I will be getting all three of these repeatable ones because they aren't actually all that interesting. So, yes, see in a bit. Okay, it's been a couple of days of just offline progression or off camera progression. I've gotten like a couple of these upgrades, but not that much. I can get two triple the amount of tachyon particle gained upgrades. So, I guess that's all I'll start with. And. Then, well, there's all of these upgrades, which are um, time dimensions are well, actually uh, before I want to do this, I, I'm, I'm attorneying specifically because I want to avoid getting um, the attorney points up. And the reason why I'm doing this is because possibly I could get the yo dog, yo dog I heard you like reskins. And in order to do that, I kind of need to maybe i should disable some of my automation like what if i disable my infinity dimension automation to do this yeah i i i know i know this is really weird but i want i want to get that achievement it has a good reward and it seems like it might actually be possible so that's that's why i'm going for it so Basically, going back to dilation, there are four upgrades I can get. There is antimatter dimension multiplier based on dilated time, unaffected by time dilation. So this will be mostly good in dilation. Time dimensions are affected by the replicanti multiplier above, or no, um, raised to the 0 0.1 power, and it's reduced effect above E9000. So we're nowhere close to E9000. So there's that. Then... There is, you can buy all three time study paths from the first dimension split, 
which is very useful because it well of course it allows me to get even more of these i'm gonna i'm gonna save this as six here and then the last last but not least i can get reduced the dilation penalty so this means when i go into dilated time it's not gonna be as bad and you can see this is with infinity dimensions disabled if i re-enable infinity dimensions i can get even more tachyon particles so that is approximately triple the amount of tachyon particles i can gain so maybe i'm not really sure if i can i can afford going into like a regular run i mean of course i'll, I'll just go into the regular run like this but i'm not sure if i can get e308 times as many eternity points still because we need to wait for the all-powerful this or the all-power power oh my god the all-powerful infinity point upgrade because yeah it is it's e12,000 times multiplier to infinity points and it works in dilation so that's that's why it's so powerful and you can see actually i can get one of these doublers real quick which is cool and even now the tachyon galaxies isn't all that much it's 36 which is decent so it'll definitely get me a lot of eternity points but I, w I want to get, I don't know why, I haven't gotten a, a new achievement in almost 20 episodes. And I want to get this because the reward is pretty good. And it's, it's and it's not reset on reality. All the ones um, after, all the ones in row 14 and beyond do not reset on reality. So that that's why I want to go for it. It may be a dumb idea at this point, but I want... I want to get something useful out of this reality and also if i can do 10 of these i'll end at like e 4600 or something or 4500 which will be enough for several reality machines i hope so yeah now i'm just gonna grind these three upgrades again so see in a bit okay it's been like i don't know 15 20 maybe a little bit more minutes and i can get the infinity point dilation upgrade so you're going to see I have an E945 infinity points and I'm in a dilation run. Now I have E17,000 infinity points, which is kind of wild in dilation. And this is actually weaker than I think for tachyon particles, but you know, at least it's something. So let, let's do that and then immediately go back into dilation. And, let, and I, I noticed something in my statistics. It doesn't, it only counts for my last 10 eternities. It does not count dilation runs. It's only counting the eternities between dilation runs. So basically, if I want to get this achievement, which I have decided I'm going to go for it next episode, I, I need, I, well, first of all, like, well, I can dilate, actually. Yeah, that's the thing. I can do dilation runs without messing up this. Also, within dilation runs, that's when I can grind dilated time. If I need more dilated time to get this achievement, I just go into dilation and stay there for, like, overnight or something. And then I'll hopefully have a bunch of dilated time tachyon particles to get. And also, I noticed how it just says, have all your eternities in your past 10 eternities be at least 2308 times higher eternity points than the previous one it never mentions my current eternity points which means if i want to get this i just need to have these numbers be e308 higher so i can start with like some really really quick run i can kind of start at the beginning try to do some really quick runs to get like the first two with the first eternity at like a low eternity point value and then get like the next eternity, like just E three hundred eight times higher. And after that, it's it shouldn't be too hard. I only need to get to like E four thousand to get the achievement. There is one caveat that is going to make this harder, and this is that I can only turn to get X eternity points. I don't know why I'm telling you to you about about this episode when it's going to be next episode, but. Yeah, before I get there, I want to grind 
a little bit more dilated time first. So yeah, see you in a, see you in a long while this time. Okay, I'm back like maybe a day later, maybe just hours later. I'm not really sure. And I have enough dilated time to get the final upgrade here. The last, the final non-repeatable upgrade, which is the passive time theorem generation. So there's also a double dilated time gain. It's not as interesting. So we can get that and the more interesting double or generate time theorems based on tachyon particles. So it's about 2400 per second. So it's going to be enough to pretty easily get the sixth time dimension. Seventh time dimension, or no, fifth time dimension is just a few minutes, but half hour to the sixth time dimension isn't too bad. Seventh time dimension is about six hours, which is not ideal. And then the eighth time dimension is about two and a half days. So I'm, I'm kind of ahead of schedule on the recording, so that's fine. So yeah, I am, I am still going for the Yo Dog. I heard you like reskins achievement. So yeah, that will be next episode. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.